Hi, I'm Alan Parry. I'm the author of this book, How to Remove Trauma Response. And I just wanted to talk to you very briefly today about a way to think about making emotional change. So what we're dealing with in terms of removing trauma response is about also changing what we might think of as emotional learning. So it doesn't just work with trauma, it works with a whole host of emotional learnings. And when we're thinking about making change, then what I want us to think about is this statement, if I let myself. So when I'm working with a client and they tell me what's going on for them, I often go to this phrase in my head, well, if I let myself. So for instance, let's say someone's being, has this voice um, and it's very mean to them and it tells them that they're worthless and they're stupid and they're disgusting and all these kind of things that are around low self-esteem. And so they say they don't have very good self-esteem. I will immediately go in my mind to the, if I let myself. So I might say in that sentence, just to myself, you know, if I let myself have good self-esteem to think good things about me, then what? Now, the reason why I'm using that phrase, if I let myself, is because the way I always think about change is to assume that the current problem makes sense. So even if it's something that's really difficult for the person, it will nonetheless make sense. And one of the ways that we can get to how it makes sense is to try and find the underlying prediction, the emotional learning, the, the, the trauma-based prediction if it comes from trauma, which essentially says, I have to tell myself that I'm an awful person, that I'm disgusting, that I'm worthless. I have to have this low esteem for a really good reason. We don't know what it is yet, but by going to that place of, if I let myself, what it allows me to do is not to focus too much on the problem and certainly not to try and power through the problem to, to get what they want because that powering through is quite exhausting and what you're fighting there is actually your nervous system. Your nervous system is activating to help us, to keep us alive. What I'm instead doing is not focusing on the problem or the outcome, but focusing on the key issue, which is why is this so essential that even though the client doesn't want this problem, the problem continues to be kept alive. So that's the phrase I often use in my mind when I'm first working with a client and throughout my work with a client, if I let myself and then whatever it is, the thing that they want. So let's say, for instance, that somebody is socially anxious and they say, Al, what I really want is I just want to go to parties and mingle with people really freely without this kind of anxious response that comes up. I'd really love that. And yet I can't seem to be able to do it. Again, I will immediately, as a starting point, say, well, if I let myself go and mingle with those people, well, what then? And that just helps me frame the work in terms of the sense that their nervous system is acting upon a prediction. It's going to be really helpful for me and the client to learn what that prediction is. And if I start there, you know, if I let myself we actually get to the functionality of the problem an awful lot quicker. Now, there's an awful lot more to say about this inside the Memory Reconsolidation Elite Coaching Academy. We go into that a lot more. If you want to find out more about that, just go to freshtherapist.com forward slash coaching. But that very handy phrase gets me to where I want to be very, very quickly and gets me basically putting the magnifying glass on the part of the work that is going to get me to where I need to get to much more quickly. And that phrase, again, just to sum up is, if I let myself do the thing that I'm here to achieve, like if I let myself do the thing that I, I want to do, if I let myself do the opposite of the problem, what then? And that straight away gets us into the prediction. So I hope that's useful, and I'll chat to you soon.